Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Skylong. This is the Skylong GK87 Pro Mechanical Tri-Mode Keyboard. This is an interesting keyboard that you can hook up either by Bluetooth uh, USB dongle or a USB wired. It also has a 1.7 inch TFT LCD RGB display that will give you information like a clock, date, uh, how your uh, battery life is doing on the actual keyboard. And you can also upload uh, GIF animations or uh, static pictures as well to this screen. We're gonna dig into it now and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is everything you get once you get it out of the box. We do have some literature here, a warranty card, and we also have a quick reference card as well, showing you what all your button assignments are, uh, the way that you can change the space bar from a, a full space bar to a split space bar if you want to. And of course, the uh, screen and all of the uh, key board functions via uh, combinations of keys, uh, which we'll go over in the review as well. So hold on to that for reference. Now with this, you get a standard USB type A to USB type C gold plated connection cable here. Uh, and this is a nice thick cable uh, for hooking this up. Uh, when you're gonna use the software on your PC, you should have it in wired mode uh, and it also um, recharge the battery that's in this as well. You can see that you've got a split uh, space bar design here, uh, but they also give you uh, the stabilizer bar and of course the keycap to make this a full space bar if you want to do that. Plus you can see we've got some extra keys here, uh, including that full size space bar and several other ones like a pause, uh, page up, page down, uh, that because you can replace the screen uh, to add those function keys, you can also replace the three knobs at the top as well uh, with these keys as well. So you'll get your print screen, page up, page down, end, pause, and so on. And of course be able to to uh, replace the uh, overall space bar as well. Now they do give you an adapter here, a USB type A to USB type C adapter in case you don't have a USB type C plug in uh, or need to uh, switch from one to the other. Uh, it's made out of metal and it is nice that they do include it as well. You get a spudger here and this is for taking out the gaskets underneath uh, the knobs that they have here. They've got some gaskets underneath uh, to take those out so that you can put in switches if you do not want the knobs. Uh, and they give you a key cap and switch puller of course because you can switch up all the keys on this and of course replace the switches as well. Let's take a look at uh, the switches that come with this particular one. These are going to be a brown tactile switches here. They come pre-lubed from the factory. Uh, they have a great typing experience. Uh, and you can see that these are uh, going to be pretty uh, simple. They give you a bunch of extra ones because again, you can put up to six different keys where your LCD screen is and another three keys at the top for uh, the knobs. So you can, uh, of course, replace nine different keys here. So they're gonna give you a bunch of different uh, exchangeable switches. Uh, you can also get them in yellow linear and red linear if brown is not your uh, your cup of tea. Uh, looking at the deck itself, this is a transparent deck here, 87 key keyboard. Uh, so it's 10 keyless or you're not going to get that number key or number pad on the right hand side, but you do get that nice 1.7 inch TFT LCD screen and three knobs that are programmable as well. This will come in handy if you're trying to adjust audio levels or uh, work in uh, different programs, product 
productivity programs. Uh, you can definitely make use of these. They are metal knobs and they uh, feel really nice when you are rotating them. Uh, you've got that clicky feel to them as well. Now you can see that some of the keys are going to have this jellyfish logo on them, like the arrow keys, your uh, left control, right control. Uh, and we also have a nice clever spot here on the right hand side where they put the 2.4 gigahertz dongle. And that will sit in this nice little silo here. On the back, you can remove the entire back plate if you don't like it. It is decorative and it is magnetic. Uh, and then you have uh, a couple of uh, different ports on the back. One being uh, for your wired USB type C connection for, of course, recharging the internal battery that's in here. You do get a switch as well. And this switch is going to be a three mode switch, one for wired, one for Bluetooth, and one for 2.4 gigahertz. We do have a multi-level leveler on the back, so if you want it a little bit more angled or less angled, you can do that as well. Uh, and it uh, looks pretty cool to me. Now this is the Jellyfish Edition. There's also a Spartan Edition. Uh, there's a, a Yellow and Green Edition. And there is another edition as well, which is kind of the uh, Red and Black Edition. Now there's really very minor keyboard flex here, uh, and it is a very comfortable typing experience in my testing so far, but let's take a closer look at the switches. So a closer look at the switches here. Again, we've got the brown tactile switches. You can also get uh, Gatoron G Pro yellow linear switches or red switch linear switches if you prefer those. Uh, you can definitely get uh, other setups if you would like. Pre-lubed from the factory and so are the stabilizers here. Uh, do a good job right out of the box. Now looking at the keycaps here, these are pudding type keycaps in the MDA Pro profile. Uh, these are really nice. Uh, they are shine through, not at the top, but on the sides to let the RGB come through. Uh, kind of a smoky color here. You could replace these with other caps if you wish. No problems. Uh, but I think they do a good job here at letting the RGB through, which we will go over in just a few moments. Now, of course, one of the cool things here is this display. It's a 1.7 inch TFT LCD display. It's gonna give you your time, your battery life. You can easily remove this just by sliding it to the right-hand side and pulling it up. Now, once you do that, you're gonna see that you do have a USB Type-C connection here, and you're going to have to plug that into your PC uh, and run the software uh, to add a GIF file or static image to to this. A little bit more on that in a moment. On the bottom you can see it's got some pogo pins here and they line up with these which can be removed again uh, so that you can put uh, extra switches up to six uh, for your normal page up, page down, end, home, and all of those keys that you would have on the right hand side. Uh, so easy to just use a switch puller to pull out these uh, four pin uh, switches and put in uh, the switches that you get in the box. Now the same thing can be said for these knobs here at the top. You do get three of them. Now by default, they'll control your uh, volume, but you can set them up with productivity applications through the software and things like that. You can just pull these off. They are metal, uh, so they are nice and strong and durable. And uh, what I like about these is again, being able to remove them and add switches if I would like to. Uh, if I don't need three knobs, I just wanna have one maybe as a volume knob, uh, I can do that. I can pull out these grommets here uh, and then we can pull those switches as well and we can put in other switches, our other keycaps and switches as we need to. So pretty nice that this is nice and modular. 
Okay, so let's take a quick look at the software for the Skylong at GK87 Pro. You can see here we can go a per key uh, for lighting effects and of course for uh, function as well. So if we're looking to change these uh, to maybe media keys or uh, number keys, uh, we can do that. Uh, system keys, mouse commands, uh, and of course macros, which I'll show you in just a few seconds. We can do that that as well uh, and we can do it per key uh, we can also disable those keys uh, and everything like that so there's a lot to be said here for customization uh, if we need to do it we also have le files here and we can uh, load these up if we want to uh, you know if we want it to be a full blue lighting we can select that uh, we can select uh, magic waves and there's tons and tons and tons of these that are built in as you can see uh, it just keeps going and going and going uh, if I want something for LOL or a Dota I can set these up very quickly on the fly uh, and I've got several different layers uh, that I can assign them to as well uh, so that we can have all of that set up so you can see that we've got a ton of different customization uh, from Skylong now we do have a full macro suite here as well. Uh, you can add your own macros. There are some already. Uh, the problem with the macros that are here already is that they're written in Chinese. So you may want to import your own macros, uh, set up your own, and you can easily do that, record them, modify them, uh, do what you want to, uh, and you can add your own profiles in as well uh, so that you can name them what you would like. Uh, but if you do read Chinese, then there are a ton of those already there as well. Okay, so I quickly want to talk about the G Monitor software that comes with. This is a separate piece of software uh, that allows you to plug in the LCD screen via USB Type C, uh, and you can either flash the firmware, uh, you can upload GIFs or pictures uh, using this second portion here. Uh, and these are also written in Chinese, so it takes a little bit of uh, trial and error if that is not your first language. Uh, and uh, but it's not impossible to figure out. Obviously. Obviously, uh, one is going to be for your time, 12 hour or 24 hour there, uh, and that will sync up the time uh, to this while it's connected via USB Type-C. The first one opens up a file so that it will search for a GIF file on your computer or a static image, uh, and you can uh, add those in. I've got one here uh, from... Uh, a movie uh, that I'm going to upload and uh, the of course uh, once I hit the, the uh, second button here it's going to upload that GIF and you're going to see uh, that it very easily has this nice little bar that will go all the way up uh, once it's finished you're good to go uh, and you do have a clear or reset button down at the bottom as well there you can reset everything back to factory and you can see once you do that, then there is my GIF. It's up there. I can use it whenever I want to. I can switch back and forth from the GIF to the information center uh, with a keyboard shortcut. Okay, so I've lowered the lights and I've turned this on in Bluetooth mode. You can see that the number one key is blinking blue here. Uh, and you can use the function key, which is right next to your arrow keys. Uh, and you can hold the function key and the one key and it'll blink blue and red, which means it's in pairing mode which means I'll be able to pair this to any Bluetooth device that I want. Now I can pair number one and number two uh, to uh, two different Bluetooth devices. And if I change this over to the uh, number three section here, uh, the third one for 2.4 gigahertz wireless, the same thing will happen. That will blink green and I can hold my function button down and the three key down. And I can put that in pairing mode to pair to the USB 2.4 gigahertz dongle so that's pretty easy on how you get everything set up wirelessly uh, and uh, connected very quickly you can also hold down the function and menu key the function key again right next to your arrow buttons uh, the menu key is a one away from that uh, so you're going to skip a key if you hold that down that's going to bring up these red lights that means the keyboard is locked out and you're going to see that we do have 
uh, a, a bunch of different options here on the LCD display. You can reset everything back to factory and you can navigate through using the arrow keys or the enter key or backspace key to get out. Uh, you can set your date and time, you can set the brightness of the LCD screen itself, use the left and right arrow keys to navigate through there. There's also a, a theme and style which we have here, uh, and they haven't done a lot with that yet. Hopefully in firmware updates they will. Uh, they've got play interval and theme, and as you can see there's really no way to change the theme at this point, uh, but you can do the play interval, so hopefully we'll see some updates to that. Now the last thing is of course language and uh, thankfully they do have a Chinese and English so that helps me out a little bit on the language front. I have mine set to English. Now changing your uh, lighting effects is going to be with the uh, minus and plus keys up here. You're going to hold function down uh, and what's going to happen here is that we can turn all of them on and off with different keys here. So let me get into that for you. Uh, you can see uh, the plus button will change through a couple different modes of function and plus. And you can see that we can cycle through a bunch there. Uh, mo most of these are reactive modes on the plus button. Uh, and on the minus button, we're going to have a few of the other ones as well. So function and minus, you can see we've got more of the rainbow effects. Now we can use function and our left and right arrow keys to change speed and our up and down arrow keys to change brightness as well. So if we do want to cycle through those, we can. Uh, and you can see that we can change speed uh, and direction uh, as well for certain modes. Uh, so there you go. Uh, it looks pretty good with its translucent keys. Again, if you want to replace them, you can do that as well, and it works out pretty easily. Uh, so there you go. That is uh, the overview of the Skylong GK87 Pro, and overall, I'm pretty impressed. So there you go. That's my review of the Skylong GK87 Pro. Uh, and this is a very interesting keyboard. And the reason that I think this is so interesting is it's got this really nice large uh, TFT LCD display on it. And it is modular. So if I want to remove that, I can totally remove it and replace those with other function keys. And the same with the three metal knobs at the top. This keyboard is very modular. And for that, that it definitely gets a thumbs up from me. I also like that you have three different modes, Bluetooth, 2.4 gigahertz, a wireless, and wired. Uh, you've got a full suite of software to change things, although there is a little bit of a language barrier there. It's easy enough to figure out. Uh, and it's got a, a lot of customization to this as well. It's sturdily built and has a really nice out-of-the-box typing experience. Overall, I'm definitely going to give this one a thumbs up. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.